What is up, you guys? It's your girl, the real Mrs. J. And I wanted to come on here real quick because, girl, y'all, chat, fam, what is this dude doing being caught with some meth in his dorm? What's really going on here, you guys? Because... We didn't even know Blueface even had a court date until, like, yesterday, okay? It was either yesterday or... It was either Sunday. I mean, it was either Saturday. No, I think it was yesterday when it came out that he had court this morning. Anyways, y'all, but when we found out what he exactly had to go to court for, y'all, I was baffled, okay? So I'm going to play this clip, shout out, and let me just say this, shout out to the Donat Show, and shout out to Circus of Blues for the content, for the video. You guys, you have to check them out. Go to um, the, the, the Donat Show um, here on YouTube and subscribe. Go to IG. He's on IG as a did not show and Circus of Blues on um, on IG as well. And so many more, y'all. Cap it for likes, Black T, Queens. Uh, it's just so much, y'all. So much good content on IG right now. But anyways, um, let me play this clip and then I'm going to come back with my commentary. T about what happened. So Blueface is in court right now. Um, they started at 1.30 in the afternoon and the state don't have no evidence. They don't have a video. They don't have pictures or anything that they're necessarily relying on. They need to basically they're trying to hold him over to trial. So I believe the police officer is lying about certain things to hold him over for trial with no evidence. The state, the people, they don't want to turn it over evidence. They play these games. They're trying to bound him over, saying that they caught him with meth in his, basically meth in his dorm when he went to take a shower. I'm more interested in seeing, since the jail has so many cameras, why don't y'all show the camera footage with the sequence of time when he went out of his cell and then we came back in the cell to see if any, at any of those particular times somebody else went in to plan it or if the officer tracked the officer what the officer did from the moment he found out that Blueface was in jail uh, excuse me that Blueface was in the shower and then going to his dorm I definitely believe that this was planted they're trying to say that Blueface was meth smoking meth selling it I don't know exactly where they're going with it but that's what this violation in jail is however Based on my own understanding, it's easy for a dirty cop to just set somebody up, especially if they're already in jail. How many of us know that, you know, cops pull you over, they pull you out of the car, then they go and plant something? It happens all the time. It's just even worse when you're in jail, when they, when you are in the lion's den. Baby, this is crazy. Like, they kept this on the hush-hush and they are saying that they found meth in his dorm like i know that they do booger sugar and uh they drink a lot and they smoke blunts and but the meth though like is this something i mean i think i've been following this for like the last two years so y'all tell me if i'm missing something like are they is he known to be smoking meth like this is a whole nother level y'all this this is going in a whole different place at this point okay a whole different place this is like borderline wicked like you can feel it right so y'all listen this man got caught with some meth though some meth and let's just say for shits and giggles that the police uh they that somebody set him up Okay, let's just say that for shits and giggles. Uh, somebody is in there telling on him. <laughs> somebody snitching on him. So like, I I don't know y'all. This this is getting real deep. This is getting deep because if he is found guilty of that, that is another charge. This man, or then he'll be violated again for having drugs in jail or whatever, y'all. And this could turn out to be real. Y'all listen, y'all, we are witnessing the downfall of the whole Blueface and Krishan thing. Because as they stay in jail, the longer they stay in jail, the less irrelevant they'll get. And we all are going to eventually forget about them. And that's going to be the end. And then we're going to be seeing them on Unsung or something. You know what I mean? Like, 
they had that run they were social so you know like sort of like some of the people you see that you that was you too famous and then all of a sudden you see them in these videos and it's 10 years later you don't completely forgot about them that they even existed and you're like oh damn dang they doing they down bad you know what i'm saying not saying that i'm wishing that on them but y'all we're literally watching their downfall play out in front of our eyes like for real now uh y'all just let me know okay i'm because i'm still baffled now that i'm really thinking about it why would he have meth in jail like this is crazy but anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel the real mrs j and i will see y'all on the next video peace Thank you.